Junior Miley is an artist who sings by the spirit and writes songs that are personal to him. Naki, even now, he had the best knowledge of music. He definitely taught me how to sing uh, with the spirit. In this song, which has been seen by millions, he talks about a dream that he had that what if he no longer was there for his two boys. This is part two of the backstory of Naki's legacy. In this episode, we're going to talk about force therapy. For Naki Miley, he wasn't there for his six daughters, and they moved back to Idaho where they took writing lessons, and writing lessons became very therapeutic for the girls. I'm almost never emotional. I was an FBI agent for 35 years, and I've seen a lot of things. But at Naki's funeral, I couldn't get a word out. When I first moved here, it was kind of hard, but they made it way easier. For me, it's just this place where I can kind of escape because it's really relaxing, but it also gives me something to think about so I'm not just doing nothing. There's such a thing as equine therapy, which we've participated in as well. And I know that that kind of therapy has significantly influenced my granddaughters. It's just like the horses, you really get to know them and they just don't let you hide your feelings. You just, it shows that you really need to express yourself around everyone because you can't hide your feelings around them. It's really fun. Um, sometimes it's a bit stressful just because it gets you out of your comfort zone a lot and um, it can be hard just and scary just because you're trying so many new things at once. But. Um, at the same time, it's really fun to just come out here and just ride with all my sisters. Have a look. <laughs> he, he brings a smile to my face. He laughs. He, um, you can't make him be serious, but when he is serious, he makes you cry because he's so heartfelt. Um, he's a good man. He's a good man. He's a hardworking man, and he makes life enjoyable. I feel like there's just something about them that when you are standing really close to them and just kind of sharing in their energy, there's a, there's a peace that we find here. And when we go to lessons, sometimes it's really chaotic, but even afterwards we just leave and we all feel really light. You know, I didn't like them for a long time actually, because I was super scared. Just because of, uh, I, was, I was nervous that I would hurt them or they would hurt me and um, I didn't want to do that. but. Over time, I think it's really cool about horses because you can develop a relationship with them, just like you can do with people. And so I really like gaining a like this trust relationship with the horses. Like I can trust them, and they can trust me that neither of us are going to hurt each other, and we're both going to work together. It's a lot of work, especially um, just working on this stall and having to clean up all the poop, which is really disgusting, especially if you've never done it before. But you know, after a little bit, it just gets really like it's just a really calming place to be if you have a lot of stuff on your mind if you're super stressed it's just you don't have to think about anything except about what you're doing and how you're affecting the horses it's just it's really nice and quiet it's away from the world my children manifest pieces of their father through their own choices and their own actions and their own likes and i think that's family history People we haven't had the chance to be around and that we don't know yet, um, or we don't remember, or we haven't seen them for a long time, I think we, we'd be surprised how much we are like them.
Thanks for watching Kin TV and this episode, and continue to vote for Naki's Legacy. There's a link down below. Please vote. Vote as often as you can on any device, and uh, we'd like to see Naki's Legacy be a significant part of Roots Tech Film Festival this year. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.